Trying to be fancy like you. <laughs> What's going on? What do you mean? You outdressed me. What do, you, what do you mean? This is definitely that's a this, this is an Akatsuki Christmas sweater, which you didn't wear for Christmas. That's by the way. why I had to wear. I missed, y'all. I missed so many opportunities to wear this sweater, but it's okay. It's we even because... went to an ugly Christmas party. Wait a minute, we went to a party specifically for ugly sweaters. But. That same night, we were also going to another Christmas party, and the dress code for that was like, this is, I don't remember, this but is it was very fancy. This is why you shouldn't get married. You see how she tries to mix our events immediately? I wanted to do one thing for Christmas. That's go to an ugly Christmas sweater party. And we went. And you deprived me of seeing you in an ugly Christmas sweater. First of all, this is not ugly, okay? The pattern is, is hideous. This is so cute. What are you talking about? You can't about? just write words you like on things to make them not ugly. This is so cute. Look, it even has the little clouds. Ignore the fact that I'm wearing gym shorts. It has a little cloud. It's so cute. That Dude, that is not how that works. But you know what? Fine, whatever. If you have a hideous girlfriend, put a name you like on a necklace and give it to her. She'll be pretty. So we're here to watch game reviews that you might find quite, just ignore it, move on. Uh, uh, game reviews that you might find questionable. Thank you, wife. Okay. This is illegitimate offspring bonds review. <laughs> and that, that as a string of words makes no sense to me. So I'm hoping the video gives me some sort of context. It's not gonna. It's the testosterone edition and I'm excited. I'm already feeling the tingling in my loins from the testosterone. You've been watching Max Horror videos. They're yes. very high paced, very in your face, and terrible comedy. Cocaine fueled. This guy is just kind of like his, uh, what is a good way to explain this? Creepy uncle counterpart. Slow moving, questionable thoughts. You leave him alone in a room, you feel icky for a while. Here we go. Fuck this. Just, it doesn't ever work, <laughs> ever. And I don't stop. <laughs> press play, come on, oh, let's do sorry. it. Sorry, I thought you were gonna press play. I tried, <laughs> I just press play, please. Hey, hey people, Seth here. Nice. Ask yourself this question. Why do people hate on the Shonen protagonist, on self-improvement in general, acting as if self- What the hell was happening in that clip? That's fine. What is going on here? Mm, I don't think we want to know. What the hell is that? I don't think we want to know. In general, acting as if self-actualization and personal growth are just schemes designed to make you leave your mother's basement. Well, I have a newsflash for you. All the stuff you thought was cool as f*** at 12 still is. Large men <laughs> screaming and punching each other to the tune of poorly compressed power metal is the yeah. peak of literature. For yeah. was it not written in Leviticus 1822? If one is born a man, at least once in this life, he will dream of being the strongest man alive. Uh, so, yeah. Let me take you on a little cruise, oh. and I'll show you what you've been missing out on. Bastard Bonds takes the award for... Especially if you use Discord Overlay. It's been subtle, but none of my homies turn their backsides to me anymore. In fear... <laughs> What others may see as Ein Videospiele, dripping in sweat and homoeroticism, is actually a fairly deep and well-crafted RPG. The game setting is loosely based on the country of Australia, full of sodomites, Sick. murderers, and people who engage in a uh, character development. Oh, by the okay. way, by the way, I mentioned some people who watch me in Australia, and I said I, I, d I know who you are unless I don't, and then a bunch of people introduced themselves, and now I know who you are. So welcome. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 A great variety of creatures from every mythos imaginable, from otters to bears to people who watch JoJo. Ever since ah. I found out uh, HelloFresh is using monkey labor to uh, collect coconut milk, I have what? never been more excited to do a HelloFresh sponsorship. Hit me up. I am the only pro monkey slave trade creator on this platform. What? I told you he's great. There's no way. That's not real. I'm I about know, to Google look it, it. Up. No, seriously, it Google up. it. No, please, Google it. I need to know. Hello. Yeah. Fresh. Right. Monkey. Slavery. I didn't even have to. I typed in Hello Fresh Monkey, and slave was the first thing that came up. Hello Fresh allegedly sources coconut milk from monkey labor camps in Thailand. When you put camp at the end of it, it makes it sound very devious. HelloFresh denies monkey cruelty coconut claims. Yeah, cruel, the cruelty part. Not that they're not involved. 
I want this to be true so bad. I will make you so proud you have no idea. Unfortunately, they are no longer responding to my emails, so I have to settle for a much higher quality sponsor instead. Listen, I am titles. literally paid to distract you from important Everyone. issues so my masters can better control you while you dance for bread and circus. Of Thanks. course I endorse everything I say. <laughs> As my rabbi always used to say, eh, let's get this over with. It's about 5% off the top. You're not gonna remember. <laughs> Just like a young man locked in the throes of passion with a certified BBW from a project's narrowly avoid fatherhood, <laughs> established titles have pulled oh out from the sponsorship. Let's make this very clear. Every sponsorship I ever take is a complete work of fiction. Let the words pass through you and go about your life. I'm just here to bleed corporations dry. Do not believe a single thing I say. Okay. Thanks. Before I continue, there's a button in the options menu, which, if I ever click, gets me instantly demonetized. You be I get it. Yeah. Illegitimate offspring bonds. Because it's called bastard bonds, but you can't put bastard in your YouTube title because YouTube will demonetize you. Right. I'm putting it together. My brain is working away like those monkeys. Well, it's okay. Thank you. I was like driving <laughs> together. I was so excited for that. I was, you see me hyping up in the background, like, do it. Say it. Do the thing. <laughs> Oh, that's why I married you right there. Uh, <laughs> Begin as a newly incarcerated inmate in the most meticulous and detailed clothing system I've ever seen in a game. I know. I was surprised, too, when I learned the target demographic of this game. Then you get to the fun part, your <laughs> prison sentence, in which you get to pick your favorite crime. There's oh, nearly oh. 30 options, but unfortunately, you can't multi-class. Quick, what's your favorite crime? Abduction. Abduction? Yeah. Easily. Mine is definitely embezzlement. Oh, that's too white collar. You gotta get more hands on. Absolutely not. You see these hands? He spilled coffee. That's what he's doing. Energy drink. I didn't get the opportunity to have coffee <laughs> this night. What, Davies decide? Does the game ever tell you? Nope. So in the spirit of fairness, I won't either. Then oh. you either confess or deny your guilt. This will affect your character's alignment. And then the game begins. Hey. And based on a number of factors I don't have time to explain, you get your first party member. Lawful oh. characters get a parole officer. Sex criminals get a fellow reprobate to tag <laughs> along with. And uh, mixed race couples get bailed out by their seven foot tall orc GF. Oh. Of all the backgrounds, necromancy still haunts me to this day because oh, okay. one of my my favorite characters yeah he tries to free you gets his neck snapped by an inmate and uh how oh. do you reward this act of compassion you, you resurrect his lifeless dead? corpse to serve you for Sweet. the rest of the game now's a good time so to sick. explain character stats the system stretches wide and deep columns are your stereotypical archetypes top bottom uh, fuck top bottom and switch <laughs> rows are your proficiencies giving receiving and jelking it's fairly straightforward once you get know. the hang of it anytime you put a point into a stat every Everything in the same row and column receive some of a runoff. There is no traditional God class or gender it, role. Man. Essentially, everything is running off the same rules as you, and you always have the ability to respec. So experimentation is not only encouraged, it's mandatory. Once oh. you get past a quick tutorial, you are thrust into the main map. You'll notice I'm just really sorry about the underlying sexual tension. He's really not letting go of. He's really just driving it home. And uh if this was a workplace, I would definitely have reported him to HR. Oh, yeah. You'd be like, bro, it doesn't sound bad on paper, but like when I say it to you, you'll feel me. It's the it's it's how committed he is. to It's every day, Susan. <laughs> it's every day. You don't understand. Susan's just like, this is this just this seems like friendly banter. The, tra the transcripts seem completely fine. <laughs> Two things once you get to the open world. The okay. world is very open and you have nowhere to lift. This game follows the Lord of the Locker Room 4th Edition rule set, which states Like no, they were like wrestling in a locker room, but they were shirtless. <laughs> and greased. And they looked greasy. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't like a fight video. <laughs> It's like a sex fight video. <laughs> you beat the absolute shit out of everyone on the map, you can invoke squatter rights and claim it as your gym of operations. Ah, but who's gonna staff this Imperialism. punk dungeon? I'm glad you asked. The game has a sizable bestiary, and as long as you've got bench space in your stronghold, you can recruit nearly every creature in this game. Hulking wow. giants, strapping centaurs, bear tigers, even women. They all respond to the same style <laughs> ah. of friendship I used in primary school. I threw a rocket to their head, and uh, we both got detected 
attention. <laughs> Similarly, you assert your dominance, and after a brief struggle snuggle, the enemy might hesitate. You can then struggle. ask them for two things, your money or your cummy. <laughs> Please. That's it. That's the one. That's Please. gonna get you put in jail. I just like to say thank you to established titles for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Sending them to the coal mines increases your manpower, which dictates how large of a gym you can currently run. Also, holding a fuck for ransom is uh, literally your bread and butter. It's uh, ah. how you earn money. Listen, this is a prison island. We are not good people. Much like everything else, this game tells you absolutely <laughs> nothing about a monster until you actually recruit it. Not even its actual HP. Guess. So, you're gonna have to tiptoe the fine line of all alcoholic fathers. Beat them just enough to listen, but not enough to summon Child Protective Services. Ah, We're looking for creatures so with a particular skill, command. There are several in the game, the earliest of which will be a hag. After you've whined and dined on Primo Grossi, you now have the best recruiter in the entire game. That's because command allows you to understand anything or anyone, regardless of language or intelligence. Think of an amulet of monkey speak from RuneScape, but instead we use it to convince slime girls to, uh, let us hot dog their gelatin and join our ranks. Giant Golem blocking a vault. Now he's my personal valet. Dragon ruling his cave. Now he's my personal sriracha dispenser. Horrific <laughs> abomination composed of nothing but limbs, eyes, and genitalia. Yeah, that's Gary. He runs the soup kitchen. If you can beat something into a pulp, you can make it part of a team. As like Machiavelli that. famously said, it is better to beat off a minotaur than to be beaten <laughs> by the minotaur. <laughs> Back of Valley, bro. I'm spitting right now. It's true. It's on page six, paragraph four of the prints. <laughs> Always writing the prints, being like, we might exclude this part for my editor, but <laughs> I'm right. I'm fucking right. It's true in anyway, my heart. Anyway, now you have right. a full commission list of fur affinity tags rolling with a squad. How does that help our gains? Well, every member of your band contributes manpower. This is the statistic you need to acquire more Lebensraum, if you will. Generally, okay. if someone's good at murder. Awful. Terrible. <laughs> they're, they're terrible at housework. Look, somebody has to wipe down after the unspeakable happens, so you're gonna need some scared servants, which is yeah. still okay to say on YouTube because the Irish are not yet recognized as part of a human race. And to <laughs> quote Albert Einstein, even if they were, the only thing they're racing towards is the finish line. Bro, Throughout stop. the island, you'll find many extravagant locals. There's a fairly common recurring enemy. They're called Thralls. Essentially, unpaid Why interns, but for life. So, you basically go into a World Economic Forum hideout, beat the shit out of every hedge fund manager, <laughs> and then, when thralls are the only thing left, you tell them you aren't free so much as under new management. Got Since it. area scale to your level, which isn't the default option, and please, for the sake of your homies' glutes... <laughs> I'm so sorry. It came. It was so sudden. You saw some ass and you sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> you saw some booty. <laughs> God damn, it was a fat ass. <laughs> That's the weirdest response I've ever seen. Alt option and please, for the sake of your homies' glutes, change level progression to leader instead of band. Because those levels scale with your leader, recruiting a fresh batch of serfs every now and then will keep your bases expanding fast with the least amount of grind possible. So, you got a bunch of bad bitches, your girl bossing it up. What's the point of this game? Well, in a complete subversion of traditional JRPGs, wow. your primary objective and the last thing you do is uh, get a boat and get the fuck off this island. Oh. You're left to figure out for yourself how you plan to do that. The world map is completely open and can be approached from many directions with many interesting and varied locations. From okay. serene forests with soothing music to brothels to bathhouses to Not a brothels. Silent Hill horror sequence to literal nice. giant anuses used for fast travel. I'm sorry, or, what? as I like to call them, one developer's poorly disguised fetish. There's a lot of uh. unique characters, events, side quests, and lore to keep you entertained. As you slowly realize, this island isn't just a prison for as inmates, it's a tomb for your jailers as well. We can enter, but someone or something has its tendrils around our collective chodes, and we cannot leave. <laughs> Combat. Combat is quick and snappy and about as deep as a puddle. As everybody works off your rules, you'll catch on how it works pretty quickly. Mainly, yeah. combat is a dance between two options. Take an action, or hold shift and take risk. It's a delicate balance of risk versus reward. Essentially, you're going to be the caboose of any train if you don't go balls out as often as possible. Great. Risk lets you make multiple moves by the same character 
character on the same turn. But each time you do, there's a higher chance of punishment. Each time your risk meter overloads, you instantly fail your move and are left Ow. in a state I refer to as submissive and breedable. <laughs> so you can choose to either minimize your risk, <laughs> play it safe, that's or so push good. your luck as deep as it goes. My <laughs> husband would do the risk one every, every time. Turn, every I'd be like, hey, turn. hey, babe, go, maybe yeah. bear, change push it up forward. a little bit. And my husband, Off no. we go. Gamble, 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 gamble. Which is hilarious because he doesn't gamble. actually like gambling in real life. No, 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 not real life. But in video games, it's not real. Play it like a video. But I tell my wife we're playing Call of Duty or something. Yeah. And I'd be like, play it like a fucking video game. Shoot your gun more. Run out more often. Absolutely. It's no. not your life. You I don't, don't want to save die. It. You don't have to save shit. My personal team build consists okay. of a daddy dom, a power bottom, a service top, and an ally. There's a <laughs> lot of customization <laughs> and options. Beating someone to death with a legendary multi-hit bow is just as viable as shooting it. As your okay. enemies scale up in late game, many fights boil down to the equivalent of uh, getting jumped in between classes, <laughs> something I'm all too familiar with. Some bullies will pull up, hold your friend oh, down God. as they slap the books out of his hands, and uh, proceed to beg for their lives as you reach into your backpack. This game system is occult and esoteric. I encountered many soft locks, exploits, and glitching AI. Some oh, might call this oh, organic. Sweet. You know what else is organic? Brain tumors. I've now had two people play through the entire game without a single gay encounter. Which, uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. I just feel a little cheated, that's all. Ah. There's something I should clarify before we pull out the crusty socks. This Ew. game has a certain stigma behind it. As Hold we, on, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm which, so sorry. Uh, I mean, I'm it's not complaining. Fair. I just feel a little cheated, that's that's all. There's something I should clarify before we pull out the. Yeah, it's it's got mushrooms on it. Those are mushrooms, right? It's got yeah, it's mushrooms. That's horrid. And, yeah, that um... horrid. That is horrid. What kind of music do you think they make? <laughs> I pull that video up all the fucking time crusty socks, this game has a certain <laughs> stigma behind it, as the funny gay sex Baldur's Gate. In fact, the gay sex <laughs> is hidden behind something called romance. You actually have to form a that connection with someone, learn their feelings and aspirations, and become closer <laughs> to them in both body crotches. and soul. Then, after <laughs> if the other stuff didn't get Susan from HR to contact you. That definitely was. Like, do you see it now? That definitely She's like, I I'm starting to see it now. I see it. Years of camaraderie, you confess your feelings for each other, and what do you get? A few nice words and a friendship bracelet. So, yes, you'll probably have to play with two guides open, and you'll have to figure out the rest by trial and error. However, with a little bit of effort and determination, you'll find a game that's worth the jokes and concern expressed by your friends for playing it. In closing, Bastard Bonds is a game with a lot of heart. In the bodybuilder community, heart is very important. You know, everyone always focuses on abs and cum gutters. The woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> I'm sorry? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Are you referring to the line between someone's abs <laughs> as a as a cum gutter? What the fuck? What? Where is he from? Where is he from? This is my Everyone video always games, focuses on abs and cum gutters. The Bro, ability what? to submit an Astolfo cosplayer what at a glance, fuck? but they often overlook cardio. Looking like a character out of Baki might get you a lot of attention, oh but a good heart, God. both physically and metaphorically, will do you much better in the long run. So, why did I cover this? Well, primarily to humiliate the sponsor, <laughs> but uh, no, I did have a reason. Maybe in our fear and stigmatization of homosexuality, we as men have yeah. lost something Sweet. in the process. The ability All to right. stand up and proclaim Sweet. our love for one another as friends and comrades. We're so scared of how we appear, we've reduced ourselves to emotionally stunted husks. Look, I'm not here to preach, but uh, maybe if each of us told another homie that we genuinely care about them, maybe we would not be half as depressed and pathological as we are right now. This is like gay gaslighter. <laughs> like, he's just trying really hard to be like emotional, but it's like, now kiss your homie. But like in a straight way. <laughs> It's easy to forget yourself. I've been there many times, and, and each time the pit is just as empty and bottomless as it was before. God In my damn. paralysis, it is only because of the people closest to me that I remind myself I can climb out of it. Oh. Anyway, Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! Look after each other, because it makes the pain of this world, life, and existence 
just a little bit more bearable. As always, more Got it, he's just depressed, I apologize. Content to come next year. A warm thanks to the many members of a Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Thank you for your continued faith and support and have a good one. Epilogue. Epilogue. This is not the main part of the video, but if you're currently gooning, you may continue to do so. Due to time constraints, because originally sponsors wanted this on the 10th, I got help for this video. I'm proud to say I've assembled a small team. I have employed oh, an nice. ex-felon and a crack yes. addict to work for me. We have our own Scooby-Doo mystery machine, but instead Sweet. of solving mysteries, we make people disappear. Now, uh, watch this. <laughs> Editor, please insert the animated gif of the obese woman crushing a platoon of army men with her stomach, with a caption, thank you for your service. Thank you. Please leave that on. I love smoking Janko. By selling out, I have bought my freedom. I don't have a concise explanation for the psychological <laughs> reasoning behind this. Just know that I fought long and hard about this, many nights, and considered my options between the fleeting temporary relevance to and adoration of porn-addicted males on the internet, or money. And unfortunately, I chose the cash. Also, ever since people found out that our scam sponsor is a scam based out of Hong Kong, it is unlikely we're ever going to see that money. Which is a shame, because Damn. it's a really good advert. In fact, uh, let me show you. Hey, gang, you know what's a pretty fun concept? Feudalism. Back when Sweet. times were simple and men even simpler. We all sort of agreed that whoever had the most land must have something going on. Nowadays, Basically, the people yeah. who own the most land are called investment firms. Back ah. in the day, however, they were called lords or ladies. Look, I'm gonna level with you. Society is heading towards a collapse one way or another. Absolutely. And uh, between you and me, I feel our right. chances are better with neo-feudalism than a budget Amazon Prime version of Brave New World. That's ah. why I teamed up with established titles for this video. The hip new way to integrate class warfare while also <laughs> preserving nature in Scotland and helping reforestation efforts globally. It's based on the historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in english full disclosure right in off english. the bat the title they give you uh honorary at best a conversation starter at most technically bequeathing you no land no wenches uh. however you can use it for all your status adjacent documents credit cards dating profiles plane uh. tickets you name it it makes for a great last minute gift ah. Now, what it does, however, establish <laughs> is that you are different. What made a lord back in the day? A divine mandate? The will of God? No. Yeah, it was yeah. one guy who convinced a bunch of dirt farmers that, hey, you know what? If we have more dirt, we could probably get more bitches. That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you that this title is the first step. A step towards establishing a dream. Our dream. Well, my dream, <laughs> that men will control their own destiny. That's Not right, bad. the first 200 people to sign up will be next to my land plot. We'll start small, uh. 200 people, which sounds like nothing. But fun fact, did you know that there's at least 15 countries with absolutely no army? Also, the standing military force of Iceland <laughs> is like uh, 200 people. They have four planes and uh, four ships. What I'm saying is, we have options. Okay, now I feel like I might be losing some of them. Okay. Like, yeah, no, we're in, no, we're, no, dude, we're in. I'm, I'm no, in it, no. I'm, I'm it. This is the right crowd. Steadfast, Captain. Cool, right? They make air, catch wayward drunk drivers in their right. warm embrace. Yeah. And some of them don't even look half bad. As Sneeze. Uh, established Titles works with the charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation. So, on top of seizing your own destiny, you can say, Hey, I helped plant a tree. When they ask where, you say, That's the fun part. It could be anywhere. So, what do you actually get in return for your hard earned dollar? Warm feelings are nice and all. Uh, I need a receipt. You'll receive an official printed title with a unique plot number. Where, might you ask? A preserve in Eddleton, Scotland, with any name you wish to canonize as a lord or lady. You know, some men need a push in the right direction. You think someone like Kim Jong-un wanted to be in charge? Of course not. He would rather be playing Genshin Impact and grooming kittens online. Greatness waits for no man. Which is why it's time to start your legacy. He was wearing my headset. <laughs> Today, with Christmas just around the corner, they're running a Christmas special. Follow my Sweet. link or use code SEF10 at checkout Dude. for an extra 10% off. Think about it. What better gift can you give a king than a crown? And with that, I Ew. bid you all farewell. I cannot wait to see the man-made horrors that await us for 2023. Remember, it's not Thanks. a dystopia if you're living in one. <laughs>
Yeah, that's the one that turned out to be a scam, right? That's what he was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of people got scammed with it, but it's like, you know, hey, if they were really sending out the little fucking things, it at least would have been worth it. Right. Would have been cool to get. My question is, did the, before it was discovered to be a scam, mm -hmm. did the creators get paid? I don't think so. Because if the creators got paid, then, you know, how scammy is it, really? Yeah, actually, you're right. Maybe right? they did get paid. Because how many of these guys are really going to be doing the average before they the payment comes through? Right. Maybe they just, like, refunded it or something. But... I don't know. Point is, all of the advertisers we've seen for that scam, very good. And that's something we were, are really interested in. We just... It really sucks that it's, like, not real. Yeah. Like when they did the old buy a star thing. Yeah, I used to want a star so yeah. bad. Yeah. And my parents never bought me a star, and I felt like that meant they loved me less. And they really gave out certificates for that. And they were cheap. Yeah, and... And then they told you the exact coordinates. So I really wanted a star because I had a telescope yeah. that I could program to find my fucking star. I'd be like, look, that's mine. That's my star. And potentially 10,000 other people's, but it doesn't matter because none of us are ever going there. <laughs> Anyways. Why don't you ever buy me a star? Baby? That's not the point. Doesn't seem like a game that you would ever play. Absolutely not. Right. You would never play it. No. What was the game review? A game review you'd watch more of. I don't know about that, man. It made me feel real uncomfortable. Well, they're less sexual normally. More, I don't... More colonialist, you know, genocidal, uh, subverting your expectations with aggressive memes. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's normally where it's at. This was real... Sex focused. Muscle dicky. Depraved. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like I walked into a bukkake session. Okay, that's a little much. Dial it back a little, maybe. Like watching somebody be bukkake, not me being bukkake. I didn't say anything about you doing it. Well, Jesus, saying, walk I'm it back a lot. Walk <laughs> it, walk all the way, rever full reverse. <laughs> full reverse, full stop. God damn, I was like, adjacent is hard enough. And you're like, well, take me out of it. You were never in it. What's going on? It's time to go. Thank you, wife, for joining me. Maybe you're too prepared or underprepared for this. I'm not even sure anymore. Then we might do another review later. I don't know. Maybe we won't. I'll see you. <laughs> Peace.